All right, I'm gonna start to do some uh, of my delicious dill relish. Recipe calls for four cucumbers or four pounds worth of cucumbers. This is six, so obviously I'm doing a batch of a basically one and a half batches. So got my jars all set up over here. It's important to have them nice and cleaned out. I'm gonna sterilize them here, but first I gotta get a. Uh, my cucumbers chopped up. No. And I'm going to take you through this process and show you how to make some of the best uh, dill relish that you'll ever uh, eat in your lifetime. Okay, so I got my uh, six pounds of cucumbers all cut up. I cut like I cut the ends off. Don't use them, obviously. And as you can see, I'm using old English cucumbers. It really doesn't matter what kind you use. Just these were uh, cheap, so that's why I'm using them. So now uh, I'm doing a batch and a half, that's why I got six pounds of cucumbers, the recipe calls for four. Now it's time to chop them up very finely. Uh, there's many ways you could do that. You could uh, use what I'm going to use, a food processor. You could use a blender, you could use a slap chop, or if you're ambitious you could do it by hand. But I'm going to do it with the blender here. Or, yeah, food processor. Okay, and that's how I'll be. Okay, after a serious brain fart. We finally remembered how we did this. We cut the cucumbers up in slices, dropped them in uh, the food processor, and then we just pulsed it a bit. Until we get a uh, nice little uh, shards and pieces now that I got my cucumber all uh, minced down and in a bowl time to add in this recipe calls for a quarter cup of salt but remember I'm doing a batch and a half so I need a quarter cup of salt plus roughly about half of that Dump that in there, and then I need, it's a lot harder with uh, holding this, but anyways, I need, need three quarters, I need half a teaspoon of turmeric, but like I said, it's a batch and a half, so I need three quarters teaspoon of turmeric, I'm just going to stop this now and do that, and after that, I gotta mix this all up and let it stand for one hour. Now I got my turmeric and my salt in there. I'm just gonna mix this up really good. I really like the fact that this recipe calls for turmeric because turmeric is one of the superfoods of the world. It is super healthy. There's a lot of great things for your body. Alright, that should be good enough. Now I gotta let this stand for one hour. Why? Uh, I think it's just to help uh, separate some of the juices. But yeah, one hour. I'll be back. Okay, now that uh, this has been sitting roughly about 45 minutes, I've been stirring occasionally. I'm going to go over to the next task, which is coming up with uh, recipe calls for a cup and a half of minced onion, but I'm doing about two cups because I'm doing a batch and a half. 
recipe also calls for four cloves of garlic because I'm doing a batch and a half I gotta do six cloves but I'm actually doing a little bit more because I'm a fan of garlic okay, so I cut up my onion and I got my garlic in the processor uh, the recipe doesn't sit necessarily say do it all together I just prefer to do it it's a little bit quicker and it really doesn't matter so yeah so now I'm gonna mince this all up there's one cup of onions throw we gotta throw her in a separate pot folks I'm gonna put this down so I could have uh, finished my task okay so I had a little bit more than two cups of onion and garlic which is not bad it's pretty much right on par I wanted two cups of onion and a little bit of the cloves of vinegar or cloves of garlic would have put it over so now I got to get two cups of white vinegar to dump in there Two cups white vinegar coming right up. Now I need some sugar. I believe a third cup of sugar. So in my case it'll be just under two th just under two thirds. I've added my uh, sugar in here. I need the recipe here calls for two tablespoons of mustard seeds or no sorry two teaspoons of mustard seeds and a tablespoon of dill seeds so I gotta go a tablespoon and a half of dill, speed, dill seeds and three teaspoons of mustard seeds because I'm doing a batch and a half dill seed Sorry about the camera movement. Just trying to get as much as I can on here. So there. Tablespoon and a half of dill seed. One. Two. three teaspoons of yellow mustard seed now I gotta stir this and bring it to a boil and then I'll be adding uh, my cucumbers to it okay now that I've let my cucumber mix sit and settle for an hour I have to put it in a sieve or strainer whatever you like to call it and I gotta push out a lot of the juice or the majority of the juice anyways they say to get out all of it I think that's a little bit impossible you're always gonna have some so just get out as much as you can really it kind of doesn't matter because you could kind of drain out some of the water at the end and it's not gonna hurt nothing been letting this uh, sit get all the water out it's just about there so I've turned this mixture on, stirred it up, gonna bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, I'll uh, proceed to add the cucumbers to it, bring it to a boil again, and keep it at a slow constant boil for about 30 minutes, stirring ever so occasionally. Then after that it'll be ready for the jars. Okay, I've added the <clears throat> cucumber mix. Oh, there's a big piece of cucumber in there. Oh, well, I'll save uh, that, pull it out when it's nice and dilly, and I'll eat it just as is. A few little, some bigger pieces in there, but that doesn't concern me. As this go cooks on and on, it just starts to smell a lot better, and I like to eat piece of those bigger pieces anyway, so yeah. 
That's what she looks like right now. Got to bring her to the bring her to a boil again. Much well, as you see, it's not going to take long. And then I got to let it boil for about 30 minutes until it's uh, pretty much a bit thicker, quite a bit thicker actually. So the juice is thickened and you get the consistency that you like. It's nicely bubbling away. And while it's doing that, I uh, took time to clean up. I like to try to clean up as I go, do things as I go. And if I'm unable to do so because I get maybe flustered or caught up doing other things, got an awesome partner and my wife that will help me in that general area. For a first time only, I'm going to show you the exact recipe for this, for the dill pickle relish. So I hope you can see this. Calls for four pounds cucumbers, quarter cup of salt, half teaspoon of turmeric, two cups white sugar, a third cup sugar, or sorry, two cups white vinegar and third cup of sugar, four cloves minced garlic, one tablespoon of dill seeds, one tea or two teaspoons of mustard seeds, one and a half cup finely chopped onions. Directions are as follows. Grind cucumbers in a large bowl and sprinkle with salt and turmeric. Stir in one cup cold water. Let stand for an hour, stirring occasionally. I don't usually do the one cup cold water thing. It just, to me, it adds more water to it. But this is drain a large sieve. Rinse under cold water. Strain again, pressing. Sorry for the interruption. <laughs> Ran out of memory. But yeah, so. That is uh, the rinsing under cold water, that's optional, I don't really do that. But then it says, in a pan bring vinegar, sugar, garlic, dill seed, mustard seed, all to a boil. And add cucumbers and onions, although I do it differently, I uh, actually add the onions into the boiling process first. And add the cucumbers, return to boil, stirring occasionally until thickened about 30 minutes. Jar them up and seal them up. Process. Bathe them. Yeah, so there you go. First time. I don't usually uh, give out my recipes, but there you go. Alright, so it's all done. Now it's time to fill the jars up. Mm. And I already know this tastes great. I've already had my taste test. And just like that, jar number one. A few more to go. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. One medium jar, seven small jars. And I got a taste of it. Definitely, because there's a tiny bit in there. Tastes perfect. Just waiting for uh, lids to boil. Uh, once the lids boil, I'll let them boil for about a minute. Put them on the jar. Put the rings on ever so firmly, not tight, but firm. But once they're all on, I'll put them in for their bath. Leave them in there about 10 minutes. That way it seals the lids, prevents any, seals them really good and prevents any kind of bacteria or anything like that from forming or getting in there. And then, uh, so once they've been in there 10 minutes, I'll 
sit them out, let them cool down, and they're ready to go. Ready to be stocked and put away, or ready to be eaten, however you want. And that concludes this lesson for today. <laughs> uh, I've had a few people want me to do uh, my dill relish, so here you go. I hope you guys all uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you guys uh, definitely try to make this. Because the recipe, it's fantastic. Once you eat this dill relish, you won't go back to... I don't go back to any relish in the store, so... It's that good. But hopefully, uh, you guys give this a try out. And enjoy it. Thanks for watching.